Aloha gang, welcome back to the channel. It's so great to have you. We are back with another segment of new gear, free plugins. I'm bringing you the best in freebies plus any new bomb ass gear that you need to know about. So subscribe if you haven't already and let's get to it. So starting us off this week, we have a collection of four free modulation effects by Superfly DSP. All four plugins share a similar design language and feature really simple and clear controls. It's a great collection of modulation effects and it's free. Superfly's freeware plugins are inspired by analog hardware, both in terms of functionality and their sound characteristics. The developer crafted a set of easy to use modulation effects that resemble the typical workflow of early guitar pedals. The plugins have streamlined features and intuitive controls, making it really easy to use. All in all, the Superfly plugins are quite good. It's nothing groundbreaking, but anyone that loves analog sounds and tinkering with their effects is gonna love this. Plus, it's free. Moving on to our gear list, we have iConnectivity's Mio XC, the world's first MIDI to USB-C. Anybody that's been using a Mac over the few recent years knows that USB-C is pretty much the only thing you're gonna find. That's why this is a great tool to connect any of your MIDI instruments into your USB-C ports. The plugs are reversible and easy to use which is why the new iConnectivity Mio SC not only has a USB-C port, but is also compatible with mobile devices. Previously, this type of interface was rare, a bit shoddy, or just too expensive, but thanks to iConnectivity, this is no longer the case. And wrapping up this week's segment, we have Cashmere's Essential Kick, an all-in-one kick drum enhancer. DJ and producer Cashmere has released this free plugin pulled from the Cashmere Essential Suite. It's a kick drum enhancer armed with a bunch of one-knob processors for beefing up your bass drum sounds. You can shape the frequencies with the sub, mid, and air modules, control the transients, add a multiband compression with the pressure module, and apply saturation with the tape module. This is going to be a quick and easy way to get bass drum sounds just right. That's it for a week in review. If you guys want to be updated weekly about free stuff and awesome new gear, make sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.